So we've got a John Deere 125 automatic here, and uh, I was doing a crankcase gasket uh, replacement, uh, PTO seal replacement, tune-up and everything on it, but uh, going to do the valve covers also while we're here. But the pulley on the bottom will not come off. So it's pretty tight on there. Uh, I've tried just about everything by hand to get it off. I'm going to show you how to get it off nice and easy here. Uh, you can use your choice some sort of penetrating oil um, you can use WD-40 you can use <clears throat> really anything out there is going to be perfectly fine you just want to get some oil uh, up in here nice and easy on this one uh, you can see on the other side here straight up in to what we need to look at so right up in there at the top you can see the top of the shaft which is above the pulley you're going to want to spray right up in there because that's where you're going to want the lube um, to, to go down to loosen everything up so spray right up in there yep spray a bunch of it not going to hurt anything we use the Kimball Midwest, it's a good product, gets down in pretty good, but uh, a lot of times we do this and they'll fall right off. Other times they're a lot harder, so what we're going to do, so now that we've got that up there, we're going to get our air hammer out here. You want something with a blunt end on your air hammer. I've got this. It works well for these. You can also use a regular hammer um, just to kind of uh, help you do the same thing, but it's not nearly as efficient as this. So once you've got your uh, lube up top there, all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and plug your air hammer in with some sort of blunt end on it. Right at the bottom of the pulley, there's uh, something that looks almost like a washer. So right here, almost looks like a washer. You're going to want to stay to the outside edge of that, um, and you're not going to want to hit anything that's flat metal here that could be damaged, but as long as you stay right here, it'll be perfect. So. in there doesn't seem like it still wants to come off at that point no movement let's go ahead and hit it again that's just kind of vibrating it down in there so Obviously your air compressor doesn't like it a whole lot, but uh, sometimes they come right off, sometimes they take a little bit more time. So we're going to go ahead and spray the top here again uh, with lube, just straight up through the front like we did before. And it looked pretty rusty up top. This one has nice easy access. Some of them um, you'll have to kind of work to get to it. Uh, if it's on a different model than this, but this 125 automatic with the hood and everything off, it works great. So, go ahead and hit it again around that wash. And if you're using a hammer, you'll just want to lightly tap. But obviously this works a little bit better than a hammer. Normally anyway, it doesn't look like it's budging a whole lot right now. I'm going to hit it again with some more spray here. We're 
gonna go ahead and hit on the side of it up here. You wanna go as close to the top as you can. And there it goes. So all that's done here is it's just kind of uh, vibrated in all that lubricant down through. So it's wet all the way down through the center here. So that corrosion blasting, penetrating oil got all the way down in there and worked its way around to loosen that rust up and allow that to fall off. Otherwise, there's no way that would have came off there. So here you, you will notice that uh, I did stay around the outside. Uh, there were a few times I kind of nicked the, the middle a little bit, but if you nick that too much, you will have issues with getting the bolt back in. So if you nick that too much or ding it at all, you might have to um, ream that brass back out a little bit. So. Just if you mess it up, you can use a drill bit uh, or whatever. It's not a uh, not a hugely uh, sensitive piece, but just make sure you pay good attention to try to stay around the outside of this washer here. That's that's something that can take some force. Uh, it can take some beatings. If you're using a hammer, you can use something in between, like you can use a small ball peen hammer here um, and hit it with a larger hammer. That'll help keep the uh, help keep the metal uh, from getting any damage kind of like this here and then you'll hit on it with a larger hammer you know like that so uh, that there came off pretty easy but uh, uh, normally I don't like to hit on the side too much because you can kind of damage it a little bit more um, it's a little bit thinner walled this can take quite a bit of a beating so uh, if you have any issues with just hitting the inside, I went around it for you know quite a while there and wasn't really having any luck. Sprayed it a couple times, you know, and you want to spray numerous times because sometimes it'll only open up a tiny little spot all the way around, just in one spot at a time. If you keep hitting it, it'll keep draining down in more and more. So uh, that's the best way to do it there. Um, once again, the air hammer. Um, in my opinion, the best way to remove any kind of stuck on clutch, anything stuck on a shaft, as long as you have some penetrating oil, uh, that's going to take care of everything for you. The John Deere 125 makes it nice and easy because you can get in the front up here. Um, if you have issues getting to any of the other ones, uh, kind of manipulate your straw through the side. A lot of times there's holes in the side uh, of the frames here where you can get up in there, you know, to, to spray and get on top of here to, to, to get the penetrating oil down in. So uh, thanks for watching, appreciate it. Like and subscribe.